Hey guys, Dan here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to make a button signal last longer. So anyway, um, normally, well, here's a button, and here's a door. And normally when you hit the button, the door opens for a second, and then it closes again. And, yeah, so anyway, I have found a solution to this. Pretty much what you do is you, well, just see this way. It stays open for a lot longer, so let's go behind the scenes. Look at that, look at that. I'm not going to hide it from you guys. Pretty much this is the kind of layout I'm going to build it with you guys in a second. So, um, so yeah, let's go over here and I'll kind of explain it as we go. So you're going to want to have quite a few repeaters depending on how much of, how much longer you want the button to stay activated for. It doesn't, it doesn't have to be for an iron door, like that's just an example. But, uh, when I have one repeater, then an increasing number of repeaters going that way. I'm just going to do, let's see, four. Let me go up to four. You want to connect all of them along the bottom row. And then all of them going that way. Make sure that it's connected on the diag. Make sure it's connected on the diagonals, and not just like, not just like that. You got to connect it completely. And then so pretty much, powering this line right here is the input. So like, if you power this, it's the input, and back here is the output. So let's try this. We'll have a door here and. A button here. So pretty much when we press the button. Oh wait, no, never mind. I forgot a part. Um, <laughs> this is gonna have to have no repeats on it, and then everything else just set it to maximum. Hit everything else three times. But the very first one, the one that just has one in its row, you want it to have nothing, because if you make it have maximum, then it'll like take a second for the door to open. And I mean, or you could just have nothing, and the door will just open instantly. So see how long the door stays open for? That's because um, you power this, and then it powers the output. And then by the time that's done, this line is powering the output. And by the time that's done, this line starts powering the output. And then by the time that's done, this line starts powering the output. So this one powers it, and then this one powers it, and then this one powers it, and then this one powers it. So yeah, pretty much, it's yeah, it's like it's getting powered four times. So it's actually, if each of these is a millisecond, so four milliseconds, four milliseconds, this is like 1.2 seconds. Does that make sense? Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I'm, not a, I'm not a good counter in legitimate seconds, but, <laughs> um, so anyway, uh, so yeah, pretty much, that's how you make the door stay open for longer. It doesn't have to be a door, it can be a piston, it can be anything you want. Like, seriously, yeah, whatever you want. So, just... Once again, you know, have the repeaters going in an upwards motion, connect all along the bottom, all along the top, connect this side to your output, this side to your input. Doesn't matter how you get it to your input, you could have connected it over here, you can connect it over here, it doesn't matter. I just chose to connect it on this piece, just simply because that one is the closest to the door. And then see how long the door stays open, versus this one has three lines. A little bit slower, and then this one just had nothing. It's just a normal freaking door time. It's horrible. Um, so yeah, it is not super compact, but I mean, it's the best version that I can figure out right now. I don't know if there is better versions out there. If there is, help comment and let me know. But uh, so yeah, anyway, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Comment, rate, and sub. See you guys later.